Welcome to the V2i Real-Time User Guide. After installation, simply double-click the desktop icon to launch the application, and the loading screen will appear. Once you see an aerial view of the site, you can start interacting. Click and hold the left mouse button, and drag it across the screen to freely adjust the view angle. Use the slider on the right side of the screen to adjust the zoom level. Alternatively, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in smaller increments. To pan across the site, navigate the mouse to any road or park surface on the site and click the right mouse button to center the desired location on the screen. By clicking on Explore in the menu bar, navigation options other than the default aerial view can be accessed. Clicking on Ground View and double-clicking on a specific part of the site allows you to set down to the ground. Use the W, A, S, D or arrow keys on your keyboard to walk across the site. You can look around freely by clicking, holding and dragging the mouse across the screen. An additional way to navigate the site from an aerial vantage point is to launch a drone. The drone can be steered using the W, A, S, D or arrow keys, similar to the walking mode. Pressing the spacebar will cause the drone to gain altitude, while pressing the left control key will lower its altitude. Clicking the Measure tab in the menu bar will access a number of measurement tools. The Point-to-Point -point Measurement tool allows the user to accurately measure the distance between two points. The Height Measurement tool facilitates the measurement of freestanding objects and can display any height entered in the value field. From a higher vantage point, the radius tool allows the user to place a center point anywhere on the site and drag out a circle with the desired radius, with its distance in meters indicated above the center point. At any point in time, the capture feature in the menu bar allows you to take a snapshot of the scene. Exit this menu to take as many additional perspectives as desired. All snapshots can be viewed independently at the bottom left side of the screen. You are able to use the available tools to mark up each perspective. For example, by highlighting areas, adding text annotations, and using the scribble tool to select a color and draw on the perspective. To export the marked up perspectives to a PDF file, click the PDF icon in the menu. All drawings and annotations will be visible in your PDF viewer. To exit the application, click on the button in the top right corner of the screen.